Hey Dick, how's the fishing going? <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> So, so that was Dick. Dick is quite the character, and uh, I'm happy I met him there. He's uh, from Alberta. He's Dutch. He's a welder business. Just in general, friendly out. Nice, nice going guy. But anyway, uh, he was heading north for Tuck because he kind of he said he'd waste a few days here, which I understand. But uh, once he seen me, he tried to ring me. I have a few missed calls now actually. But um, he turned around and he's going to stick the boat in the river and take a day, go for a dry or a spin up the river and go check out the Indians and chill out. A bit of luck again. Welcome to Dawson City. Thank you very much. Dawson Trading Post. Jeez, it's unreal, lads. A boat here now. It's pretty cool. So we're at the pub. Might have had a drink. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Dick didn't have as many. I'm gonna follow him up to the campsite. Had a good old day. Nice relaxing day. It's like a frontier place, you know, you can see all the buildings. It's unreal. But, gonna go camp. Tomorrow, me and Dick are going out in the boat. He says, gonna take me out in the boat all day. He says, that's what you need. You gotta chill out. Times are changing you bet Seems the older I get Less I seem to fit In a young person's world And the higher I climb The more I see design And they keep us all confined Robbing oysters of their pearls Longest climb to the pearly gates And next to him I'm had an easy road But I had my own heavy load A bitter kiss has been bestowed while the sun Hey Dick, how's the fishing going? Fucking <laughs> terrible! <laughs> Tent is up, we got some beer, fire is lit. Dick is in the kitchen trying to poison us. Dick, are you trying to poison us? Wait, what? I'm sorry? Are you trying to poison us? Yes, I'm trying to poison you. Too many goddamn Irishmen in the world already. Look at this, this looks delicious. Too many minutes. <laughs> Get some bacon going. Yes, sir. We got some fish. Indeed. Dick, did you catch those fish? I did, as a matter of fact. I did, I did. <laughs> Somebody else will claim credit, but I gotta feed the little bugger anyway, though. Can you believe yeah. that? A Canadian that lies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you betcha. So, I'm finally saying goodbye to Dawson. It's now uh, 5 to 5, like, in the evening. Anyway, uh, I had a good day, just chilling around, just bumming around on the Wi-Fi, and then I did... Uh, I did a dredge number 4. That was quite interesting, and I met a, a lovely couple from... I don't know. It's the capital of uh, Vancouver Island. Anyway, they uh, she paid. 
Mary and Bob. Mary paid for my uh, my tour. It's like 20 quid. She was very nice. Yeah. Time to head for Alaska. See you next time, Dawson City. You were pretty good. Pretty freaking good. There's a rhythm and rush these days Where the lights don't move and the colors don't fade Leaves you empty with nothing but dreams There ain't much up here, only trees and wildlife It's kind of pretty in its own way but at this stage now I see a lot of forestry or woodland or Tasia or Tundra I think we're still, are we in Tundra? I think we are in Tundra Do you know the difference between Tasia and Tundra? Tasia doesn't have permafrost in it but it's quite northerly it does freeze up in the winter and then Tundra is constantly frozen uh, I don't know, 2 or 3 meters below the ground at least that's what I think the Canadian border. My first border crossing. Should I be nervous? I don't think so. So that, that all went well. Really nice guy. He, he gave me some granola bars. It's like, that's a good start to Alaska. Another thing I should mention is the road. The minute you cross the border, the road improves a hundredfold. I guess the US have more money to do the roads in Canada. They have a bigger population to pull from. But good job, bit of comfort now. So the pavement was short lived. It was a beautiful piece of road for about 20k, but now I'm back under. Oh well. So this is chicken. Such a name. Driving here. Some, some old looking crap. It's a strange looking digger. Look at the state of that elk. Where was that made? Oh, mama. Look at that view. Look at it. I think that's Denali. Do you see the point with the snow on it? So today's been pretty good. I've had an easy day of recharging my batteries. Um, obviously staying with that couch surfer. I got up this morning, he was going to work. Went to his work site just to see what he's up to. He's, he's building a big cabin and just see the building techniques and stuff. It's quite interesting. Really friendly guy and he showed me, told me what they're planning and doing. 
After that, I went down. I had to go to a laundromat and literally wash every piece of clothing I have. This t-shirt was clean, and I had a pair of shorts. That's it. I did that. Met some people there. They were well impressed with what I'm doing. I chilled out. Used the Wi-Fi. Then I went to went to the cinema. I needed a day to just chill the f out. Um, I'm a bit wore out or tired. I don't know. I've put in too much. Been doing too much lately. And it has caught up on me, so I said, you know what, feck going to museums and feck all the crap. I said, I'm just going to go and just watch a movie. And I did, I went and watched Mission Impossible. It was really good. i got to service the bike maybe tomorrow as well. She's well due uh, an oil change and filter. But I'm just going to show you around inside. Yeah, got a little stove, little gas hob think we know no plumbing in here which is a bit odd that's the that's the bed up top nice roof and then like a little wardrobe got some shelves and uh, just to hang your clothes kind of your kitchen table I'm taking over everything there's no plumbing going on here that's your plumbing buckets some storage fridge little oven and again I'm taking over I kind of like it it's very small but very livable. So for now I'm, I'm going to call it a night. I've got a few notes to do and I'm just transferring photos at the minute which is always fun. Hello. Hello, how are you? Is this the end of the road? <laughs> this is the end of the road. Oh no. I know. <laughs> That's, it's just getting nice. <laughs> That's fine, I'll, I'll park over here for a bit. Yeah. Sure, what else would you be doing when you come to Alaska? Fitting a DC-3 engine. So, just inside the DC-3 now. Uh, Neil, say hello Neil. Hey. <laughs> just show me around and just talk me through it. Pretty amazing. So, for lunch today, got this uh, organic seed bread. It's very nice. Got some turkey, some sliced cheese, egg, onion, tomato, and mayo. To make it better. Have a lovely view of the glacier. Life ain't so bad on the road, but it's cold. It's not that cold. But when you're on the bike all day, you get cold. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm doing today, where I'm going. I was gonna go down to Valdez, but changed my mind. Look at that, good, good sandwich. As you see, and I got some photos of a bear there, but I walked up closer to get uh, better photos. And she stood up in the bush, so I didn't go any further. Then I backed away. But to my left, there's two uh, two pubs which I didn't even know about. 